In this video we will be introduced to the widget properties and styles palette. With an object selected the properties are displayed in the widget properties tab. We can change the shape here in this palette which is new in version 7 however we can still change the shape by right clicking as per 6.5 you can also add basic button-like interaction to widgets here with interaction styles. Remember different widgets have different properties. Options we see when we select the rectangle widget may be different to that which we see when we select the paragraph widget. The styles tab is where we affect changes to the size, location and formatting of objects. We see some options common to other design applications and much of what we see here is also duplicated in the toolbar. Location and size, font formatting, fill lines and borders. In version 7 we have some new cool things to play with like drop shadows, corner, radii um, and so on. Something important to introduce here is base styles. Much like CSS styles, base styles allow us to set up formatting for default widgets and create custom styles and apply it across a number of widgets and later come back and modify that formatting and it will be applied across all of those uh, widgets. Bear in mind, base styles only give the ability to set and manage formatting that we can see here. We can't affect things like size and location with style, unfortunately. Style offers some control, much in the way that masters do. Sometimes it's better to use masters, sometimes styles, sometimes a combination of the two. Uh, we'll go into that later. <laughs> 